Hi everybody, welcome to another video of vintage TV and radio stuff and more. Yes, I've added more. Who doesn't like more, huh? Uh, as you may have noticed if you're a, a, a loyal viewer of my videos, I did change the intro a little bit to reflect that um, not all the stuff I'm going to show you is TV and radio stuff. Uh, this is something totally different. This is something that was used back in uh, the days of the overhead projector by math teachers in this case. It's called the Educator Intermediate Overhead Calculator. And as you can see it was meant to be a companion to the Texas Instruments Math Explorer Calculator that was popular in the day and I guess they still make it. Um, but you can get vintage or older versions of it and uh, the image I'm showing you now is is the closest I think to what this was meant to uh, replicate uh, for students. Uh, it's color coordinated keyboard, has extra large display, protective carrying case and manual included and you can use it with any standard school overhead projector. Now if you're my age or maybe a little bit younger uh, but not too young, you know what an overhead projector is. Uh, I'll be uh, doing a future video um, with a little more information about overhead projectors, but for now I thought I'd show you this. This obviously is designed to teach kids how to use a calculator. <laughs> you know, it's not something you just kind of pick up and start doing on your own. Uh, so math teachers would put this device on a uh, overhead projector and they would actually use it as a calculator and it is a working calculator uh, so I'll, I'll take it out of the box uh, in just a few seconds uh, but I want to let you know and I'm going to flip this over here that uh, it is a delicate instrument so handle with care here's the plastic box it's the calculator keeper <laughs> in fact and I'm, I'm guessing that uh, the uh, Abel there is the last name of the teacher who uh, used to own this device. So let's give it a pop open here, I think, and we'll uh, see how, how it looks inside. It's not a nice padded case, nice uh, foam padding here. There's the uh, reference manual, and here is the calcul calculator itself. This even has the limited warranty in it. Maybe you can read that or not. Back it up a little bit, perhaps. Uh, whoever owned this uh, didn't mail it in, though. And in this little leatherette sleeve is the actual calculator itself. As you can see, it's it's opaque which means it would work on an overhead projector. And in a little bit I will uh, flip the camera up and we can get a better look at this and everything and I'll show you how it all works. Alright, I've got my camera above the uh, calculator and I'll see if I can keep it in focus as much as I can. Uh, as you can probably see now, there is a zero um, on the top of the calculator. That's because there is enough of a light source for these solar cells to uh, power the calculator. And then you just take your finger and type in a number. 14, 142 plus 8 equals 150. Pretty cool, huh? 45 minus 6 equals 33. <laughs> I, I think. <laughs> I, I, think I, I think I got that right. I wasn't really paying attention to what I was typing in. But it, yeah, it works just like a calculator. You can type in uh, 56. Let's say I want a backspace. Takes away that. Put a 52 instead in there and uh, plus 5 
equals 57. As you might notice, some of the digits are missing, parts of the digits. That might be from age, might be from uh, lack of enough light, perhaps. I'm not sure. And it does turn itself off when you take the light away from it, when you doesn't have an adequate light source. This was made in 1993, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, it was used during the days of the overhead projector. Here's what the back looked like. It came from Stokes Publishing Company. As you can see, the calculator is made of glass, so handled with care. That's why there's so much uh, uh, padding around it. So there you are. That's the Educator Intermediate Calculator from Stokes Publishing Company from Sunnyvale, California. Made back in the early 90s. Uh, math teachers and school districts bought them to teach kids how to use calculators back in the day on the uh, the old overhead projector. And overhead projectors are actually still used um, and still manufactured in recent years. I'll show you one next time around that I found uh, at a Goodwill and we'll actually get get that up and running and put this, uh, put this calculator on it and see what it looks like. That's going to do it for today's video of vintage TV and radio stuff and more. If you have any comments, leave them below, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and we'll have more down the road. Thanks for watching.